So if you'd like to collect URLs from your bot conversation, it's straightforward enough. The important thing is that you add an appropriate interaction. You'll know that from your choice of interaction types, you've got several choices, your basic one being the bot statement. But here, we're going to collect URLs. So choose URL extraction. Notice that the tab is clicked on. This means that the user will be able to see that they've typed the um, URL correctly because it will be highlighted when we get to that point. You'll see what I mean shortly. I'll demonstrate it. So this is the interaction. The message would be something like, um, thanks, please leave the URL below. And you want to put in an error response because this interaction will recognize a correct and valid URL address. Uh, so if something's gone wrong, you've got a chance to pick that up here. Um, oh dear. Does not seem to be a valid. Uh, so that's the interaction. Let's just link it up to the question Would you like to leave your URL? So if the response contains yes, then we'll go to this one we've just created. Now I'm going to test these interactions, but notice up here we have the highlight extracted data button. You need to put that on, and now we'll see that when we Put in a, an example. Uh, actually, it's put in snatchbot.me. It's highlighted. So both the user sees that, but also you as the developer, when you're looking to see what information the bot has extracted, it's very valuable to be able to see exactly what has been extracted. And if we just restart, you'll see the value of the error message as well. So in this case, I'll just put any old rubbish. And oh dear, that's not valid and it's not highlighted.